Hello, I'm Teresa Batenza taking you through Rome. I'm standing in front of one of the oldest parts of the city, the Tiber Island. It's the site where Romulus and Remus washed ashore to then eventually found the city on the Palatine Hill. You may know the legend that Rome was founded by two twin brothers that were sons of the god Mars and a Vestal Virgin. The Vestal Virgin was raped by the god Mars and so they were left orphaned because their mother was punished for not maintaining her virginity. They were thrown in a bucket in the Tiber River and they washed ashore at the most shallow part of the island here in front of the Tiber River. A herdsman then picked them up, brought them to the Palatine Hill where they were raised by a she-wolf. Upon reaching manhood, they want to found a city. The two brothers fight. They can't agree which of the seven hills of Rome to found the city on. So Romulus kills his brother in a fit of rage and founds Rome on April 21st, 753 BC. So this year, Rome celebrated its 2,773rd birthday. Now the history of the island does not stop with Romulus and Remus. The island is believed to have miraculous healing powers connected to a legend associated with the Greek god of medicine and an ancient temple that stood on the site. So it now hosts the most important birthing hospital in Rome that dates back to the 13th century. They believe that you're not a true Roman unless you're born on the Tiber Island. Along the riverbanks is one of Rome's most fascinating churches, Santa Maria in Cosmodon. It became famous for this iconic drain hole cover called the Mouth of Truth. It was featured in the movie Roman Holiday starring Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck, and then a legend arose that it bites off all the hands of all the liars. In reality, it was a drain hole cover for the Tiber River placed in the portico in the 16th century. Unfortunately, most people neglect actually the inside of the church, and it's one of the oldest and most historic churches in Rome with a very interesting relic. So if you visit Rome, you should come specifically on Valentine's Day and take your romantic partner to see the skull of St. Valentine that lies inside.